Good morning. How are you? May 1st. Incroyable, isn't it? Incroyable that we have come to the month of May already. Oh, check out the YouTube channel. I've just published the May 2024 all signs. You know, Aries, Taurus, and all that jazz. Divine guidance and loving clarity is my intention with Tarot. So, I do offer private readings, I teach yoga online, I teach meditation, breath work online, and I do offer EFT. Divine Guidance and Loving Clarity is my intention with Tara, so feel free to check all of the stuff out at All to Love. Otherwise, let's just see what we get. Energetically, so May 1st, Divine Guidance. Some of you are celebrating something. I mean, there's straight up like a celebration. The first messages that I got was like the final, um, like some of you are actually supporting the finalizing of a divorce and the splitting up of assets. So there's finally a like, woohoo, and hopefully everybody's happy in the situation because it's lovers reverse ten of pentacles it's like um the love between the two people has come undone but certainly one of these people if not both are feeling pretty good about like what they've got after the after the end of that relationship if it's not a marriage it's it's just a long standing relationship where um, you've likely accumulated a fair bit together. The chariot is like holding back. And the holding back energy is somehow connected to this emperor and or just the sense of moving forward. I mean... The central energy being the Three of Cups is is really just a celebratory energy. I feel like there's some either financial or like career triumph here. If it's not the end of a divorce, it's like a severance severance package. Is that the right word? Like where you get redundancy, you get a little bit of money, you get a little bit of support as you leave this position. What's the emperor about? Oh, emperor and empress. Interesting. Coming into greater balance and harmony with your significant other. I'm hearing tying the knot for some of you. This is a bit of a, a change where I'm thinking... I mean, having an emperor and empress to me is, in a reading, it doesn't happen very often. Like, personally, I rarely see the emperor and empress, like, come together this powerfully. I mean, yeah, this could be a business deal that's worth celebrating. And then I think for some of you too, it's, it's certainly I would say like an evolution of a relationship or a big change within this relationship or simply one person is leaving a career. It's a... It's a funny one because the the lovers in the reverse, I, I'm picking up on like, okay, there's, oh, I mean, okay, so another energy is the evolution of a relationship. It's a, the initial meeting, falling in love, getting to know each other, etc. that's done. And now it's like building together. Like, you might decide to move in. I'm not necessarily getting a clear indicator of that from the cards, but three of, three of Cups is something we're celebrating. Maybe you propose, because there was a Four of Wands at some point. Maybe there's a proposal. 
or the mo the whole like moving in together is like the next phase or just making it official. There's obviously something really balanced about this union and abundant. Yeah, I'm hearing really interesting things. Like, yeah, like you guys move, might move in together. There's a sense of upgrading or bringing something to another level. It's a very likely a relationship here. Keeping yourself balanced. Two, two pentacles twice. Keeping yourself balanced is, is prime time, baby. Prime time. Because there's... These two people are, are going to be able to bring something into the world you're you're going to be able to create something you're celebrating one person I feel really has to work on keeping themselves balanced to stay well and there's I don't know it's almost like this isn't a time to be like foolish in love or to take any kind of risks this is time to I'm hearing just like basking in what you have. Yeah, I'm just. There's obviously a lot of joy. And there's a lot of money. And yet there's something going on about just stabilize the stabilize your footing before rushing forward. But I kind of wasn't worried if this is some kind of new come in. I just, this is like a super powerful union and couple. And again, maybe both people have been through like divorces or both people have been through major changes or losses or uh, breakups kind of thing. Heartbreak. I'm hearing like you can't lose kind of thing or... Yeah, I I mean, I did see a four of wands for some of you. This is like about home, nest, and family. This could be somebody that we want to stay balanced with because we feel like we can make a happy home with them. I mean, it's an emperor and an empress. Those are it's like when you have the same suit in a king and a queen, you're you're in match territory. You're in <laughs> I'm not actually a fearful spider person, but it's a little bit weird when they when they just can you see when they just sort of like descend into your reading anyway there you go and like I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't like to kill things and there's some people yes I live in the countryside okay I just don't I kind of look at it like this. These spiders and their webs and stuff, they catch things like flies and more like pest, more pestilent sort of energies. So anyway, there you go. He's, she, he, she is climbing away. Looks like they've got a little bit of fluff or something to add to their nest. Anyway, my lovers, there's your reading for today. I defo got a little distracted. There's something about, um, yeah, nesting, <clears throat> leaving the safety of the village or leaving the safety of the known and gently being kind to ourselves as we gently move forward, embracing a little bit more playfulness and uh, embodying more of this confidence. Uh, you're one of these people. So there's definitely a really, really divine match happening here, my lovers. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.